Hey, what's up everybody? This is JC. What I got for you today is a Adata SE Nanojet G SSD external hard drive where you can use on your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox Series X or Series S. This is the 512 gigabytes external hard drive. It comes with two USB cables, a USB type A to USB type C and a USB type C to USB type C. This thing right here, you got a speed of um 2000 megabytes that's equivalent to two gigabytes of transfer speed and it got the it comes with rgb lighting and um on the back of here back here you got a weight of 5.6 ounces and it comes with a three-year warranty it looks pretty interesting the presentation is very very beautiful it got very colorful i guess it got the hummingbird to um show the color of the um RGB lighting when you plug this up to your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox Series X. Now I tested it out, I kind of like it, so I'm doing a video for your guys' pleasure. Alright, so if you would like, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe, hit the likes, and leave your comments, and I'll get back to them. Alright, so let's get into it. Open it up and show you the contents that's in the box. It's very simple, very straightforward. Let me just put it to the side. Put the box to the side. Okay. Like I said, I opened it earlier and I tested it. And I'm impressed, but I'll show you guys. This is the first cable right here. First cable, USB type C to a USB type C cable. And a USB type A to a USB type C cable. And I can tell you, the cables are very thick are very thick so they're high quality cables anyway and um, it comes with a booklet right here so you can see the zoom is acting crazy but that's okay and this is the device itself right here this is a this is a bad boy the coup de the data ssd now this ssd i like it because it comes with a ventilation um holes on the each side and the texture it's metal, but it kind of have a like a sandstone kind of feel to it, which is pretty cool. And um, this thing is very heavy. And this is the biggest hard drive I've ever bought and tested out. It's I can tell right now, it's way bigger, way taller than the Samsung T7 and T5s. Even the even the WD and the SanDisk is way bigger. It's way thicker and taller too. Now, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to connect it, format it, and I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to move uh, some a PS4 game onto it, and then we're going to see how it works, all right? So, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Now, what I'm going to do right now for y'all, I'm going to connect the SSD hard drive. You know, my room's kind of dark right now. I'm going to connect it to the PS5, as, this, as you see right there on the ground. This is a digital edition. It's not the disc, but that's fine. So I'm gonna plug it in right now. I'm plug, plug it out. Plug it in for you guys. And voila, look at that. Look at that, look at the RGB lights. Let me just go ahead and zoom in for y'all. So that's nice. And the lights is like you're doing like a dance. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Anyway, what I'm going to do right now, I already formatted it and everything, so so we don't have to go through a lot of a long process. I can make this video short and sweet. So what I'm going to do right here on the screen, let me bring it back in some for y'all. So you can see right here, yes, perfecto, perfecto. Yeah, so it's already formatted and it's there. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go get my PlayStation 4 game and put it on it. So what you gotta do first is um click on console storage and click game and apps and um let me see which game I want to move. A PS4 game. Yeah, this is a big game right here. The five what this is a 85 gigabyte game. I'm gonna move this over to to the external hard drive and the external hard drive. Uh, transfer speed is 2000 megabytes that is good but just as a disclaimer 
because I learned something for the past couple of days. The transfer speed on the external hard drives that you guys get is not for transferring from your PlayStation 5 onto your external hard drive. The PlayStation 5 transfer speed is um, through the port is 10 gigabytes. The transfer speed that the box is advertised is the transfer speed from the hard from the disk onto your console. And the only the only games that can take full advantage of this is the PlayStation 4 games. Because with PlayStation 5 games, you can't you can save the games onto the external hard drive, but you cannot play the games off the external hard drive and um onto the PlayStation 5. That's totally different. Now with the PlayStation 4 games though, you can store your games, you, you can store as many PlayStation 4 games as you want on your external hard drive. You can take an external hard drive to your friends, your cousin, wherever, hook it up on your PlayStation 4 or hook it up to your PlayStation 5 and play the games. Not so with the PlayStation 5 games. You can save the PlayStation 5 games on your on the external hard drive, but you're gonna have to have the physical disc to continue to play the game on another PlayStation 5. So that's the only trick. So just as a disclaimer to, to educate you guys, the speed that the box says about the external hard drive you're getting is not the speed from the PlayStation 5 onto the external hard drive. It's the speed from the external hard drive onto the console. All right, so cool. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go select um, Final Fantasy VII Remake it's a pretty big game as you can see it's 85 run it off 86 gigabyte game so what you're gonna what you're gonna do I'm gonna move down to move click move and uh, I'm gonna hit ok and uh, I'm gonna get back to you as soon as this game is finished moving voila there it is it's finished uploading and um, you can look I'm gonna go to extended storage go in the game and apps and all 86 gigabytes of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's on there. Now, I'm going to do this real quick. If you guys want to hang on, I'd really appreciate it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Final Fantasy VII. As you see, it's right here. It wasn't there before, but now it's there because I moved it from the console onto the external hard drive. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to fire up um, Final Fantasy VII I got my stop clock right here. I'm gonna see how long it takes to um I'll see how long it's gonna to take to load up the game till when cloud comes out of the train. Alright, see how long it's gonna take. And what I'm gonna do in a separate video, I'm gonna do the, the comparison with the Samsung T7, which is my daily driver, alongside with this new external hard drive to see which one load up the fastest. Or it's gonna be the same. Alright, here we go. See, zero, zero. Let me get back out here. Nope. Zero, zero. Fantasy, Fantasy seven. One, two, three. Let's go. Hello, bye bye. So far, we have the 35 second mark, 37 mark. And again, like I said, I'm gonna do a video. I may upload it later on today or tomorrow. We are gonna do the same video, but with the, with, with the two external hard drives to see if there's really a difference in transfer speed. If, I mean, if the loading speed is going to be totally different compared with the two hard drives, all right, for the same game, because the Samsung one, the Samsung T7 is a 1,000 megabytes, and um, the Adata SSD is 2,000 megabytes. So, so let's so in my next video, which I'm going to upload, like I said, maybe by today or tomorrow, we're going to see if the load times makes the difference. All right, so keep back and enjoy this scene real quick. While I count down. Right now, 
We're at the 1 minute 30 second mark. And this beautiful picture you're seeing right here, it comes from my LG CX OLED TV. This is a 65 inch TV. This is my go to TV for all my movies and my gameplay and even my reviews. All right. This is a very good TV for PlayStation 5 or, or Xbox. Two minutes, 20 seconds. OLED quality at its finest. Beautiful, isn't it? And the reason why I choose this game because it's, it's such a big game. So I don't want to use a small game where that's going to breach through everything quick. I want to push the external hard drive to its max. So that's why I choose this big game. So we're right now at 3 minutes and 37 seconds. Four minutes, 24 seconds. Sorry about that, I hit the wrong button, but it took approximately 5 minutes and 35 seconds. Actually, because I when it go for I when it I let it go over, I didn't hit the stop clock on time. I'm just gonna give it an extra five seconds. So so you see right here? I'm just gonna give it an extra five seconds. So five minutes forty seconds. So is this really so is two thousand megabytes really good enough? Well, that's what we're gonna find out in the next video now like i said it's a beautiful external hard drive it's very weighty it feels very heavy it feels very good in the hands and um i like the rgb lights let me show the rgb lights real quick let me zoom in real quick it's beautiful 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 now is it 
the ideal SSD hard drive. So far, I'm in love with the Samsung. The Samsung is very sleek and it's been very responsive to my, to, to my opinion. Now, like I said, it's between today or tomorrow. Look forward for the video, all right? I'm gonna do the same game. I'm gonna see how, if they if they transferring from the console, from the SSD hard drive to the console, just like I show you with Final Fantasy, if there's a difference with the speed, or does it really matter? Or it is, or it is pain for storage purposes. If speed is your, is your main primary reason to get an SSD hard drive, it's up to you. But I believe most people buy it, not only for the speed, but they buy it for storing their games. Because we already know the PlayStation 5 doesn't come with much memory. So it's all about um, storage. Now, which one is the better one? Both of them come with a three-year warranty, but Samsung, but I believe the SSD hard drive that Sony uses for their PlayStation 5 is a Samsung SSD. So, so Sony is not gonna put something in your console unless it's the best. So, there you have it. This is the boy JC. If you feel free, leave a leave your comments. Hit your likes up and subscribe, all right? Thank you guys for patiently watching this video with me. I thank you guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.